good morning all so today i'm gonna you know show you how to install docker in windows 10 basically uh if you have windows 10 professional or enterprise version then we can install docker desktop here all right so installing uh, docker in windows 10 so i'm gonna use this uh windows 10 professional uh, windows so i have a list actually so what we actually need to you know install docker desktop so there are a couple of software in the windows world where we can use but today i'm gonna talk about docker desktop so first of all we need to have windows 10 either professional or enterprise version that we have and the most importantly you have to enable hyper v support in your bios as well by default it's enabled in general but you can check as well and hyper -E. so let's uh, do this first because this is the main thing that uh, docker desktop is gonna use that right so how i do that i am just going into my control panel and here i'm just choosing uninstall program then turn on windows features and maybe i can wait for few minutes so here is the hyper support so if the hyper v is not ticked in your system you can take it make sure you click on this plus button and uh, just click in both the options hyper v vm management platform and hyper -V platform and this all so once you uh, click enable you have to just click ok it may take some time and even maybe uh, asking for a reboot so you can do that so once you do that this uh, is done right now the second thing we have to do is uh, we have to install so i'm uh, downloading docker desktop now so this is the first requirement and uh, so docker desktop for windows 10 i'm going to open this first link by docs.docker.com and here i'm going to choose this download docker from docker hub exactly so uh, this space is you know uh, here you can read require windows 10 professional enterprise version and i can just click on get docker so when i click it will be downloading that exe file although i have downloaded that already here docker desktop so i'm just uh, double clicking here and uh, it gonna ask something for the installation purpose yes and uh, it may download some packages from you know internet so make sure your internet is working so i'm just waiting for some time right and it is basically use windows container instead of linux so this is not possible as of now but we are using uh, these two default option so it is you know getting download all the data and exe files just wait you don't have to do anything don't be you know confused with the docker desktop version docker desktop is nothing it's a client software for windows although docker has a most latest version like 19 and 18 so 19.03 or something is the most recent version of docker community edition is running in the you know current id industry so i'm just waiting for this okay and once this uh, docker desktop software will be installed you can uh, start this statement right so let me tell you something meanwhile it is getting installed so uh, what docker desktop is all about basically so it is going to so docker desktop is going to download a vm uh, virtual machine of linux type so it will download a linux vm from internet and docker desktop will give you the client in your windows 10 so that means by using hyper v it will install a vm and from your windows os like from cmd and from powershell you can connect to that docker right so docker engine is running here so docker desktop is overall a combination of linux vm 
with docker client configured in cmd and powershell and then you can use that software right so this is in, in reality docker desktop is all about so i think installation is closed so now i can just uh yeah double click here in docker desktop so see now i can see here docker desktop is running it can take few seconds to you know uh, install your docker you can see here in the uh, drop in the menu that the docker desktop is starting i think it got started maybe starting still so what they are doing basically in the back end they are downloading a vm so i can show you by just clicking on hyper v so i'm opening the hyper v manager and here you can see docker desktop vm is running that has around this few core cpu 2 gb ram and once they download the vm they will install docker everything it's automated right i'm closing this and i'm again i'm waiting is starting right so once the docker desktop will be started i'm waiting i can use my uh, powershell right i can use my windows 10 powershell to run docker version see docker version is here but if i type docker version overall see the client software is here but unable to find experience uh, docker server daemon because uh, still docker desktop is starting so i think it got started up and running i can see now is running right when it is running if i run the command again wow you can see this is your client and this is your docker server has this thing and i can just simply do docker images i don't have any images i can just pull it docker pull alpine so it is not going to pull in my windows machine it is going to pull in the hyper v right so definitely this all vms this all images is going to download here okay so that's the part of docker installation i can also use this docker command from cmd itself let's say docker images yeah so client is already configured in my windows 10 so this was the installation don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you so much.